Good day everyone, welcome again to another episode of Dance Training and today I will uh, discuss on how to pay tax in Japan but before that I would like to say thank you doon sa mga subscribers natin umabot na kami ng 1,300 subscriber at dahil po yan sa inyo na nandiya kayo patuloy at sumuporta po sa atin so maraming maraming salamat po sa mga subscribers natin sa at hello po dyan sa mga kababayan natin sa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Sana po uh, uh, panoorin din po ninyo yung ating YouTube live every Tuesday and Thursday. Para po sa dagdag na kaalaman ninyo, magdi-discuss po tayo ng iba't ibang topic. And tomorrow, Tuesday, ang, ang topic po natin is about withholding taxes. Tuwing Tuesday and Thursday po yan, mag-i-entertain din po tayo ng mga live questions ninyo para kung meron kayong mga concerns o meron kayong mga dap gustong itanong ay ma-answer po natin immediately. So, magla-live streaming po kami ng dalawang oras. Okay, so, bakit po ba natin pag-aralan on how to pay tax in Japan? Pag-aralan po natin yung mga taxes naman po ng iba't ibang bansa. Actually, uh, first episode pa lang po ito ng mga iba't ibang taxes ng iba't ibang bansa because global na po tayo ngayon. Hindi na yung dating world natin na tayo lang, parang tayo lang nag-i-exist, parang independent tayo masyado sa uh, ibang mga bansa. Ngayon hindi na. Why? Because we already have a virtual community. So, kahit nasabihin mo nandito sa Pilipinas, nandun ka sa ibang bansa, Isang community na lang po tayo, may tinatawag tayo ngayon na world community. At kung mapapansin din po natin, napakarami na rin pong mga kababayan po natin o mga Filipinos working in Japan. No? May pamakina ko na nasa Japan ngayon nagtatrabaho, si Orson. So, good day sa iyo, Orson. Sana mag-ingat ka dyan sa mga sakit na naglilipa na ngayon, especially sa COVID. Ikakasal po siya sa December, so mag-ingat siya para safely makabalik po siya dito sa Pilipinas. At hindi lang naman po ka kaunti yung ating mga kababayan no, na nasa Japan. At also, kung mapapansin din po ninyo, may mga Japanese corporations din po, may mga Japanese consultants, mga employees, mga diplomats, nandito rin po sa Pilipinas. So, marami po po tayong mga Japanese friends na nandito rin po sa Pilipinas, dito sila nagdinegosyo dito din po sila nagtatrabaho so, isa din po yan sa tatalakay natin yung tungkol sa tax treaty which is the a friendly agreement between Japanese and the Philippines as to the taxation po ng mga citizen ng Japan at sa citizen din po ng Pilipinas, kung halimbawa yung Pilipino nagtrabaho sa Japan at yun namang Japanese nagtatrabaho dito sa Pilipinas Okay? So, how to pay tax in Japan? Pa paano po ba binabayaran ang, ang tax sa Japan? At uh, i-discuss ko rin po sa inyo ano yung mga taxes na binabayaran po sa Japan. So, ito po yung mga i-discuss ko sa inyo ngayon. At bakit po? Because I was a JICA fellow. No? Nang nasa BIA pa po ako, isa ako dun sa mga uh, delegates na pinadala po ng Pilipinas para po mag-aral sa Japan. All expenses paid by the Japanese government. No? We were 15 delegates na pinadala po doon. So, ito po ay nangyari noong 2009 no? while I was still in the BAR. I was still working in the BAR. No? Nasa taxpayer assistance po ako noong ng BAR concurrently with the assessment. So, how to pay tax in Japan? I attended the Japanese Tax System and Tax Administration System Seminar on February 3 to 9, 2009 and this is sponsored by the National Tax Agency and the uh, Japan International Cooperation Agency. No? So, uh, 15 po kami na mga delegates na pinadala po ng BIR upang pag-aralan ang Japanese Tax Administration System at paano po sila nagsiservisyo sa mga taxpayers, yung mga hapon, at saka kung ano yung mga magagandang ginagawa nila na pwede din po natin i-adapt dito sa Pilipinas. Yun po yung objective namin or yung layunin namin. Bakit po kami pinadala sa Japan? No, so, we stay at the downtown uh, Shinjuku, malapit po sa National Tax Agency. Doon kami binok ng uh, host na, namin na National Tax Agency at ng JICA. 
uh, kasi fully booked noon ang dormitories ng uh, JICA Training Center. So doon kami binook sa Washington Hotel sa Shinjuku, yung downtown ng Tokyo, malapit sa National Tasa Agency. Uh, so ito pong picture na to ay kinuha to sa National Tax College. Ang National Tax College po, ito po yung uh, nagbibigay ng uh, education sa mga tax examiners, sa mga enforcers o sa mga empleyado ng National Tax Agency, yung mga Japanese na nagtatrabaho sa pinaka-BAR po nila yung National Tax Agency. So dito po nila pinapaaral, no? mga examiners, may sariling dorm, and then nag-stay sila doon ng mga 2 months or 3 months depending sa course na kinukuha nila. No? All uh, provided po ng Japanese government. So ito naman pong picture na to nakuha to sa JICA Training Center. No? Sa, sa Tokyo din po yan. And then, uh, another picture was taken sa Weno. Ito yung pinaka-district office po ng National Tax Agency o ng pinaka-BIR sa Japan. No, pumunta kami doon at uh, tiningnan namin kung ano ba yung mga facilities nila, paano nila sinisurvisyon yung kanilang mga taxpayers. No, par parang uh, nag-sightseeing kami, ocular tinitingnan yung kanilang mga facilities at kanilang mga offices. No? And this is a visit also to the Tokyo Tower. No? Let's now go to the types of taxes and the tax rates and how to pay taxes in Japan. So marami po silang mga pamamaraan sa pagbayad ng kanilang tax na very friendly po. No? So ito yung methods of national tax payment sa Japan. Papaano po siya binabayaran? No, yung taxes. Dito, unahin muna natin yung national taxes ng Japan kasi marami din po sa taxes. May level din ng taxes sa Japan. Meron silang tinatawag na national taxes. Meron din uh, prefectural or yung sa province nila, uh, district, at saka yung local. No? Ito, national tax payment po. Ito, yung pinaka-BIR nila. So, paano po na tumatanggap o uh, pinafacilitate yung bayad ng taxes sa Japan. So, number one is by direct payment. So, paano po yung direct payment? Uh, you can pay the tax online via direct payment using e-tax system. No? So, meron silang e-tax system. Parang si, sa counterpart dito sa Pilipinas, ito yung EBIR form natin. Ito yung e-services po ng government nila, ng kanilang kung nangungulekta or the NTA. There is direct deduction from your bank account. So, itong direct payment, direct deduction from your bank account. And another is the internet banking. You can pay the tax online using internet banking. So, ito yung tinatawag din po nila na online banking no, sa Japan. And then, yung next is credit card. So, pwede din po na magbayad ka. You can pay the tax by credit card with personal computer. No, yung, yung desktop mo, yung gagamitin mo, or mobile phone. No? You can also access National Tax Credit Card Payment site from the website of the NTA. No? So, meron silang National Tax Credit Card Payment site. No? Parang website nila na, nandun, na may facilities sila na National Tax Credit Card para sa payment ng taxes. Okay. And then the fourth is the convenience store. Ang dami-dami pong uh, convenience store or mga malls sa Japan, no? Yung isang mga uh, convenience store nila with thousand branches all over Japan. Malalaki. So yung convenience store po, nag-accommodate siya ng tax payment. So pwede kang pumunta sa pinaka-mall nila at doon ka magbabayad ng tax, no? So you can pay the tax in cash with a tax payment slip with the code of convenience stores only for tax payment of up to 300,000 yen in total amount per slip 300,000 yung limit nila in total amount per slip per slip ibig sabihin yung isang pinaka nila 300,000 lang yung limit na pwede mong ibayad sa convenience store number 5 is the account transfer you can pay the tax by automatic account transfer from the taxpayers deposit or savings account on the payment due date. So, pwedeng account transfer. Ibig sabihin, i-transfer mo yung uh, account mo from your bank account, i-transfer mo dun sa account ng NTA. 
no, for the payment of your taxes. And meron ding over-the-counter payment. Ano tong over-the-counter payment? Nung pumunta kami sa mga district offices nila, meron din po silang parang yung taxpayer assistance na doon nila sineservisyon yung kanilang mga taxpayers. So, ito yung counter. May counter sila doon na mag accept ng payment. No, you can pay the tax in cash with the tax payment slip at the counter of financial institutions or banks, post offices and others, and your district tax office. So, pwede rin po magbayad through the post office. No? Kaya yun yung sinasabi sa amin noon na ang payment pwede rin e-cars through sa post office. And then sa district tax office, pwede ka rin pumunta doon and then fill up the uh, slip. So, marami silang mode of payment na convenient para sa taxpayer. So, yun, yun po yung uh, six mode of payment or type of payment ng taxes sa Japan. Since na-discuss na natin paano tinatanggap yung payment sa Japan, paano naman o ano naman yung mga types of taxes in Japan na uh, binabayaran ng mga Japanese citizens? No? Okay, so what are the types of taxes in Japan? Meron silang tinatawag na national, parang BIR din sa atin, national taxes. Meron prefectural, ito yung district or province, and meron silang municipal level. Income tax, this is paid annually by individual on the national, prefectural, and municipal levels, also known as resident tax. On the prefectural and municipal level, the amount is calculated based on the net income of the individual person. Okay, so meron silang binabayaran na income tax, merong enterprise tax, property tax, no? So, marami ito. Merong consumption tax, vehicle-related taxes, liquor, tobacco, and gasoline taxes. Okay, so balikan natin na ano tong mga taxes, klase ng taxes na ito. So, income tax, that is based on the income of the person. Ano naman itong enterprise tax? So, sa prefectural tax or sa uh, province or district, paid annually by self-employed individual engaged in business activities. No? So, the amount is calculated based on the person's net income and the type of business. So, enterprise tax po ang tawag dyan sa uh, prefecture or sa province nila binabayaran. Property tax, ito naman sa municipal tax, paid annually by individuals who own land, housing, and other types of depreciable assets. Sa atin, ito yung counterpart ng local real estate taxes. Ito yung binabayaran natin sa munisipyo. No? Property tax. Sa kanila, ganun din. Binabayaran din po nila sa munisipyo nila or sa local government nila. No? Consumption tax. Ano naman tong consumption tax? Ito yung counterpart sa atin, value-added tax. No? Na-discuss na natin sa inyo nung nakaraan na live streaming natin yung value-added tax. So, value-added tax is a tax on consumption. So, Japan also has a consumption tax. No? Or uh, sa atin, value-added tax ang tawag natin. Sa kanila, consumption tax. Magkano yung rate sa kanila? 10%. Sa atin, 12%. No? But for food and drinks, except alcohol and dining out, a newspaper subscription lower po ang tax rate 8% lang no ang consumption tax nila so yung pero yung alcohol daw dining out 10% pero pag uh, food and drinks and then uh, newspaper subscriptions 8% lang po yung consumption tax nila vehicle related taxes ano po yung mga vehicle re related taxes Prefectural automobile tax is paid annually by individual. Ito yung sa province, no? sa district binabayaran. Ano to? Yung parang vehicle tax. Sa atin, wala tayo dyan eh. Yung, except yung binabayaran natin sa LTO. No? Uh, registration ng sasakyan. Sa kanila, meron pa silang tinatawag na vehicle-related taxes. Lahat ng may mga sasakyan, truck or bus, car, no? Uh, nagbabayad sila ng tax doon. So, in case of car, truck, or bus, in case of passenger cars, the amount is calculated based on the engine replacement. No? A municipal light vehicle tax is paid annually by individual who own motorbikes, yung mga motor, or other motorized light vehicles. No? National motor vehicle tonnage tax naman paid by vehicle owners at the time of mandatory inspection. 
no? shaken sa kanila. A prefectural automobile acquisition tax is paid by persons when they acquire a car. So, doon pa lang pagbili ng car, may binabayaran na silang tax. No? Liquor, tobacco, and gasoline taxes. Sa atin, ito yung counterpart ng excise taxes. No? So, the national liquor, liquor tax is paid by consumers when they purchase alcohol, beverages. National, prefectural, and municipal tobacco taxes are paid by consumer when they purchase tobacco products. So, sa atin, iba yung binabayaran sa mayor's permit, yun yung local tax natin, and then mayroon pang binabayaran na national, yung sa BAR. Sa kanila, tatlo. Ano yun? Yung sa national nila, national tax agency, and then yung sa prefectural nila, and then the local. So, yun, or municipal, yun yung tatlo na babayaran mo na tax sa Japan. No? A national gasoline tax is paid by consumer when they purchase gasoline. The liquor, tobacco, and gasoline taxes are included in the prices shown by shops. Parang sa atin din, sa bat natin, kasama na doon pagbili mo ng item or goods, kasama na doon na binabayaran mo yung tax. Okay, so ano naman yung mga klase ng taxpayers sa Japan? So, ang mga klase ng taxpayers sa Japan, merong non-resident, merong non-permanent resident, at merong permanent resident. Sa atin, ito yung mga tinatawag na resident citizen, non-resident citizen, tapos uh, non-resident alien engaged in business, non-resident uh, alien not engaged in business. Yun yun naman yung classification sa atin. Sa kanila, non-resident, non-permanent resident, and permanent resident. No? So, paano itong mga tao na to tinatak sa kanila? For non-resident, a person was live in Japan for less than one year and does not have his primary base of living in Japan. Non-resident pay taxes only on income from sources in Japan but not on income from abroad. So, pag non-resident ka ng Japan, kung kumita ka doon, itatas nila. Hindi nila pakialaman yung kita mo outside Japan. No? Parang sa atin din. Only income from the Philippines by non-resident ang tinatax, pero yung income outside the Philippines, hindi na tinatax. Why? Kasi non-resident yan eh. Hindi naman yan taga Japan. No? So kung pupunta kayo ng Japan, magtrabaho kayo doon, yung income derived nyo from Japan is taxable in Japan. Okay, so non-permanent resident, a person was living in Japan for less than five years but has no intention of living in Japan. So non-permanent resident siya. Non-permanent resident pay taxes on all income except on income from abroad that does not get sent to Japan. Okay. Ano naman ang pagkakaiba ng non-permanent resident? Non-resident pay taxes on all income, pero may exceptions. Yung income from abroad niya na hindi pinadala sa Japan or hindi pumasok sa Japan. Pag pumasok na, magiging taxable siya. Kasi ang sabi dito, does not get sent to Japan. Halimbawa kasi, may income ka sa ibang bansa, pero doon ka nakatira, non-permanent resident ka, doon ka sa Japan. Pinadala mo yung income mo doon sa Japan, magiging taxable siya. No? Ano naman itong permanent resident? A person was living in Japan for at least five years or has the intention of staying in Japan permanently. No, permanent resident pays taxes on all income from Japan and abroad. So, pag permanent resident ka, parang resident citizen din sa atin, all income within and without the Philippines is taxable. Sa Japan, ganun din. Pag permanent resident ka, all income from Japan and abroad is taxable. I-discuss ko din sa inyo itong tax treaties. No? Note the tax treaties between Japan and more than 50 countries including USA, UK, Canada, Australia, China, South Korea, and most European countries can take precedence over the above guidelines. Uh, anong ibig sabihin nito? Halimbawa, may Japanese nagtrabaho dun sa bansa na may tax treaty in Japan. Halimbawa naman yung uh, bansa, yung mamamayan ng bansa na may tax treaty in Japan, nagtrabaho din sa Japan. Ano yung tax rates na gagamitin? May preferential rates because of the tax treaties. At sabi ko nga sa inyo doon sa How to Claim Tax Treaty Benefits na episode natin, iba ang rate pag may tax treaty ang isang bansa with the Philippines. Kaya iba rin ang rates pag may tax treaty ang Japan with that other countries. Mas uh, mababa yung tax rates. No? That is a friendly agreement with other countries when it comes to taxation of 
uh, uh, citizen, no, sa income na de-derive ng citizen of both countries. Outline of the withholding tax system. So, tayo, we also adapt the withholding tax system of taxation. Ano tong withholding tax system of taxation? Ito yung nasa kamay nung holder or magbabayad yung pera. Bago niya ibayad doon sa recipient nung income, tatanggalin na niya yung tax, i-remit na niya sa gobyerno. So, ganun din sa Japan, no? Meron din silang tinatawag na withholding tax system. Under the withholding tax system ng Japan, a payer of certain types of income such as salary, interest, dividend, and tax accountant fees. Ano tong tax accountant fees? Sa atin, ito yung professional fees, no? Calculate the amount of income tax payable pursuant to prescribed methods at the time the income is paid. So, may, may rate of withholding. Para sa atin din, no? Under the train law, meron tayong mga bagong rates ng withholding which i-discuss ko sa inyo uh, bukas, you know, Tuesday, June 23. So, i-discuss ko sa inyo yung iba't ibang rates ng withholding taxes bukas. At the time the income is paid and withhold the amount of income tax from the income payment and pays it to the government. Why? Kasi, uh, anong rationale dyan? Para hindi na makonsume noong recipient of the income, yung amount para sa tax tinatanggal na hindi na binibigay sa kanya no so instead of ibigay sa kanya ibigay na sa gobyerno the withholding agent is designated by the law na tanggalin mo na yung amount para sa income tax at ibigay mo na sa gobyerno hindi na ibigay doon sa recipient ng income because of the withholding tax system, most employees in Japan do not need to file tax return. Para sa atin din, substituted filing, di ba? Meron na din akong episode sa inyo na uh, sino yung mga persons not required to file income tax return. Sa Japan, ganun din. No? Meron din mga taxpayers doon na hindi na din kailangan mag-file ng kanilang income tax return. So, sino yung mga employees na kailangan mag-file ng income tax return. Ito lang yung if they leave Japan before the end of the tax year. Alibawa, aalis na sila sa Japan. Hindi, hindi pa tapos yung tax year, year ni, na, nila na uh, January to December. Alibawa, magpa-file na sila ng return. No? Yun yung tinatawag sa atin na short period return. Employer does not withhold taxes. No? Alibawa, yung employer nila hindi na withhold yung taxes. So, kailan mag-file ng income tax return. If they have more than one employer, no? parang kagaya din sa atin na hindi sila qualified sa substituted filing of return kung more than one employer sila during the taxable year. If the annual income is more than 20 million yen, no? so if the income is more than 20 million yen, kailangan na mag-file ng return kahit na withhold pa. If they have side income of more than 200,000 yen, ano yung side income? Yung additional income lang. Halimbawa, meron na silang main employment, meron pa silang additional income coming from another job, hindi rin qualified. Kailangan mag-file din ng income tax return. Uh, income tax reconstruction, withholding tax system has been adapted for income subject to income tax. No, Withholding among the income arising between January 1, 2013 and December 1, 2037 in which special income tax for reconstruction is withheld when withholding income tax and is paid with the income tax withheld. No? Ito yung parang benefits na binibigay ng Japanese government sa kanyang mga uh, taxpayer. No? Income tax and special income tax for reconstruction withheld under the system is settled through a year in adjustment or by filing a final tax return for the year except forms of income such as income from interest subject to separate withholding tax, that tax payment is completed only by withholding. May mga instances na tinuturuan no, ng National Tax Agency yung kanila mga taxpayer on how to uh, withhold, especially itong sinasabi nila income tax and special income tax for reconstruction withheld under the system. Ba under the uh, year in adjustment no sa atin meron din tayong tinatawag na year in adjustment at paano natin ginagawa yung year in adjustment natin ito yung mga november kasi ako pag naglecture ako noon sa bayar november or october pa pinapa year in adjustment ko na yung mga taxpayers why kasi ito yung year in adjustment na mag-adjust ka na ngayon na tax due equals tax withheld bakit 
para wala nang over withholding ang kinaltas doon sa kanilang sweldo. So pag pag tax equals tax withheld kasi at saka isang employer lang hindi na kailangan mag file ng return. Pero pag may mga over withholding, ang utos diyan ng gobyerno natin papa-refund sa uh, taxpayer. So sa Japan ganun din, meron din silang tinatawag na year in adjustment, no? Na kinu-compute or ni-recompute mo yung withholding tax pay. No? Okay, so employees who do not need to file a return will leave their income taxes withheld from their salaries by their employer. No? And uh, eventual adjustment is made with the year's final salary. No? Kasi ang year in adjustment talaga sa final salary na yan pinapabawas. But during my time na nagtuturo ako sa BAR, ang dami pong problema. Why? Kasi anong problema ng employer? Pagka, halimbawa, hindi sila mag-adjust mag early. Pagdating ng December, halimbawa, wala na sweldo yung tax uh, employee nila. Wala na silang i-withhold. No? So, ang, ang ginagawa, October pa lang, November pa lang, nag-year in adjustment na. No? Pero sa Japan, ganun din. Ang tinatawag na year in adjustment sa final salary talaga, sa yung last salary for the year. No, people who are required to file a tax return such as self-employed persons must do so at the local tax office, no? By mail or online e-tax between February 16 and March 15 of the following year, no? Ginawa din natin 'yan one time dito sa Pilipinas na ang mga employee ang deadline is March 15. Parang panahon niya tayo ng before si Commissioner Hinares, no? Yung mga iba commissioner ginawa nila na March uh, 15 yung deadline ng mga employees. Uh, what are the national income tax rates natin? So, ito yung, yung national income tax rates ng Japan. Taxable income, sa atin, nagbago tayo under the train law. Sa Japan, ito yung kanilang tax rates. No? Uh, less than 1.95 million yen, 5% of the taxable income. 1.95 to 3.3 million yen, 10% of taxable income, minus 97,500 yen. No? 3.3 to 6.95 million yen, 20% of taxable income, minus 427,500 yen. 6.95 to 9 million yen, the tax rate is 23% of taxable income, minus 636,000 yen. 9 to 18 million yen is 33% of taxable income minus 1,536,000 yen. 18 to 40 million yen, 40% of taxable income minus 2,796,000 yen. More than 40 million yen, 45% of taxable income minus 4,796,000 yen. Kaya doon sa mga nagre-reklamo na napakataas ng tax rates natin, our maximum tax rates po is only 35%. Japan has 45%. But in, in lieu of that, meron pa silang prefectural na income tax at municipal tax. No? Sa atin, wala na. Pag employee ka, yung babayaran mo, BIR lang na tax. Sa kanila, hindi. Meron pang province at saka local or municipal. Kaya kung i-compare nyo po yung doon sa mga talagang negative sa tungkol sa pagbabay ng buhis, mababa pa po yung buhis natin compared sa ibang bansa. Although, meron din namang ibang bansa na mababa at meron din ibang bansa na halos na walang tax. Pero kung i-compare mo rin yung bansa natin doon sa mga matataas talaga ang rate sa tax, mababa pa yung sa atin. Ito pa, aside from the income tax na national, no, may babayaran pa na prefectural income tax rate and how much is that? 4% sa taxable income. At on that same taxable income, mayroon pang binabayaran na 6% naman taxable income sa municipal tax rates. No? Prefectural enterprise tax rates. Ito pa, enterprise tax rates. Ito yung sabi natin kanina na uh, nag engage in business. May babayaran pa rin na Uh, prefectural enterprise tax sa province yung 3% to 5% depending on the type of business. No? So, napakarami pong tax na binabayan. Ito, ang pinag-usapan natin, income tax pa lang to Iba pa yung uh, iba't ibang klase ng tax. When to pay taxes? If not withheld by the employer, national income taxes are due in full by March 15 of the following year. No? Mid-April, if you pay by automatic bank transfer, 
with two prepayments paid in July and November of the running tax year. Prepayments are calculated based on the previous year income. You do not pay them during your first year in Japan. Ano tong sinasabi na prepayments during July and November? Sa atin ito yung uh, quarterly income tax. Ang tawag po dyan, prepayments. Ang sa atin, estimated tax return. Why? Kasi hindi mo pa alam kung maging loss ka ba o magiging gain ka during the taxable year. Kasi ang income tax po is annual po talaga yan. So, kaya kung mapapansin ninyo, pag nag-file tayo ng annual income tax return natin, lahat ng adjustment pinapasok na natin. Why? Kasi ang income tax is annual. Bakit tayo nagbabayad ng quarterly advance payment lang po natin yan? Kaya pag napapansin ninyo, pag nag-file kayo ng income tax return ninyo na annual, lahat ng payment na ginawa nyo dun sa quarterly, binabawas. No? Kaya ano lang yon advance payment. So sa Japan, ganun din. Uh, between July and November, meron silang prepayments po na tinatawag. If prefectural and municipal income taxes are not withheld by the employer, they are to be paid in quarterly installments during the following year. So, di mo na siya nabayaran doon sa uh, prepayment, pwede din nabayaran mo siya on installment on the following year. No? So, for example, the 2019 taxes are paid in four installments in June, August, and October 2020, and January 2021. Imagine that, yung tax mo ng 2019, bayaran mo ng 2020 and 2021. So, very friendly po ang Japan no? when it comes to taxes. Although, heavily loaded ng taxes yung kanilang mga citizens. No? Ang dami. So, about the National Tax Agency, of uh, Japan. Ito yung tinatawag na NTA. Ito po yung BIR. No? So, ano ba yung BIR sa Japan? No? Or National Tax Agency. Ito yung National Tax Agency of Japan. No? Nasa Tokyo po yan. No? Yung nga sabi ko nga sa inyo, nung bino kami nung JICA dahil puno na, dyan kami malapit no? sa Washington Hotel. Kami tumira. So, this is the National Tax Agency of Japan. Yan ang pinaka- BIR ng Japan. And then, ito yung picture namin sa mga officers na ng National Tax Agency, mga teachers itong mga kasama namin, and then mga officers ng uh, National Tax College ng Japan. So, the National Tax Agency ng Japan was organized in 1949 as an external organization of the Ministry of Finance. Para sa BIR din, di po ba under tayo ng Department of uh, Finance. Sa kanila, under din ang Ministry of Finance, yung kanilang National Tax Agency. Okay, so, the National Tax Agency supervises 12 regional taxation bureau. So, 12 na uh, regional offices sa atin, ang counterpart niyan, regional offices. Sa atin, marami na palang regional offices ang BIR kasi may mga na-split na na mga uh, bagong regions, no? So, marami na, it's more than 19. No? Sa kanila, 12 regional uh, taxation bureau. Including the Okinawa Regional Taxation. Mapapansin natin sa mapa, itong Okinawa, ito na yung pinakadulo ng Japan. Eh. And the same applies, and uh, 524 tax offices throughout Japan. Itong tax offices, ito yung parang district office natin, no? RDOs. No? Sa atin, ilan lang yung RDO natin, make it 100 lang. Sa kanila, 524 no, tax offices throughout Japan. There is also the National Tax College with, with strange tax official, while the National Tax Tribunal serves as special body engaged in examining requests for review from taxpayers. Anong counterpart natin? Sa National Tax College, wala tayong counterpart yan, no? But uh, the Bayer has a training. May, meron siyang training division. Yun ang nagtitrain ng mga examiners, ng mga BIR employees. At meron din na yung Court of Tax Appeal. Ito yung National Tax Tribunal nila na nag ng mga review ng mga complaint coming from the taxpayers. Yung na National Tax Tribunal nila sa atin Court of Tax Appeal. Assignment and mission of the National Tax Agency provides that the National Tax Agency achieve its duties of realizing proper and fair taxation and collection of internal taxes. Sound development of the LECOR business and ensuring proper administration of services by certified 
public tax accountant. Sa kanila po, meron silang tinatawag na certified public tax accountant sa atin dito wala. No? Sino itong mga certified public tax accountants? Ito yung mga CPAs din na tumutulong sa mga taxpayer when it comes to their tax problems. No? Although sa atin meron din tayong mga tinatawag na accredited tax agents na inalaw din naman ng bayer na nakakatulong ito sa mga taxpayers on their tax problems. Mission of the NTA, help taxpayers properly and smoothly fulfill their tax duties. So yun talaga ang mission po ng National Tax Agency. Realizing proper and fair taxation and collection of internal taxes, development of tax payment environment. Kaya nga natin uh, nakita, pinakita sa inyo kanina paano ba yung pagbabayad ng tax sa Japan. No? Provide and publicize easily understood accurate information on legal and regulatory interpretation and procedures concerning tax filing and payment para hindi malito yung mga taxpayer and for your information tayo tungkol doon sa mga online sellers na bago lang ni require na magparegister sa atin sa Japan meron na po silang tax on digitized business so maganda na yung kanila ang taxation doon sa mga online sellers nila no uh, in place na pati yung transfer pricing nila on, on related party transactions maganda na din po kasi meron na sila mga specific na guidelines at uh, talagang nakikip track na nila yung kanila mga online sellers another is respond quickly and accurately to inquiries or consultations from taxpayers no so sinong gumagawa niyan nung nagtour kami sa Japan ang mga gumagawa niyan, yung mga district offices, yung face-to-face, -face, at pwede rin natatawag ka sa kanila sa through the telephone. May, may mga sasagot din. At yung hindi nila masagot na mga questions, nire-refer po nila sa certified public tax accountants. So doon, partner talaga yung certified public tax accountant at saka yung NTA no, sa pagservisyo sa taxpayer. Make efforts to obtain broad cooperation and participation of the related ministries, agencies, and citizens in order to build cooperation with tax administration and understanding of the roles of taxes. Napakaganda po ng kanilang understanding the role of taxes. Why? Kasi kahit bata pa, kahit doon pa lang sa elementary, tinuturoan na po nila yung mga bata ano yung kahalagahan ng pagbabayad ng taxes. No? Meron silang mga anime, meron silang mga games na ang theme noon is, the, is to enlighten no yung mind ng mga bata pa na napakahalaga pala ng pagbabayad ng taxes example meron silang parang anime na story na ito yung world without tax at ito din yung uh, world na may tax so ang world na walang tax napaka orderly pero yung world na wala ng tax, may mga magnanakaw, magulo, mahirap ang kalsada, maraming basura. In short, napaka-opposite ng, ng world na may tax at yung world na walang tax. So doon pa lang, i-inculcate na nila sa mind ng mga bata pa lang sa school kung gaano kahalaga yung pagbabayad ng tax. No? Promotion of proper and fair tax administration to achieve proper and fair taxation properly apply the relevant laws and regulations, work to achieve proper tax filing and reliably correct errors by conducting examinations and guidance for people who filed improper returns. So, pinapakita din, din nila yung disadvantages dun sa mga improper filers. No? Hindi, hindi tama yung mga pinafile na returns. Work to help taxpayers pay taxes by the due date and implement procedures to collect taxes from delinquent taxpayers. Uh, number two, respond properly and promptly to taxpayers' request for review to address infringement of taxpayers' legitimate rights and interests. No? So kung may mga complaint yung taxpayers, ina-address po nila kaagad, sinasagot kaagad. Another uh, objective ng National Tax Agency is the sound development of the LECORS business. No? Kasi sa kanila, napakalaking industry po ng LECOR. No? So, stabilize the business foundations of the LECOR industry and ensure growing technology, research and development, and the quality and safety of LECOR. Ang hapon talagang concern na concern siya sa kanyang mga citizen. No? Sinabi pa nga nung interpreter namin na 
ang asset nila sa Japan is their people. Kaya inaalagaan talaga ng gobyerno nila yung kanila mga tao. Kaya tingnan nyo yung mga lasenggo. Pinoproteksyonan pa rin sa pamamagitan ng quality and safety of liquor na iniinom nila. No? So may mga research and development. Sa atin ano nangyari? Di ba yung mga naglasing sa sa tapoy? Ano ba yon Yung dito sa keso na yung ga, galing sa Lambanog, yung galing sa Nyog. Sa amin, Tuba yan eh, sa Visayas. No? Tuba. Pero sa amin, wala pa namang nalason sa Tuba. No? Bakit sa kanila sa Lambanog may nalason? Na, no? So sa Japan, talagang inaayos nila yung quality and safety ng record nila. No? And that's part of the objective ng National Tax Agency. No? Number two, work for effective use of resources related to LECOR. Number three, ensuring public administration of services by certified public tax accountants. No? So, yung certified public tax accountants nila, sabi ko nga sa inyo, ito yung partner ng National Tax Agency when it comes to giving services to the taxpayer. Work for proper administration of CPTA services to ensure that C CPTAs plays important roles in the proper and smooth administration of the self-assessment system based on the missions assigned. Yung tawag po sa kanila, pag files nila ng return, is self-assessment system. Ibig sabihin, ikaw mismo na taxpayer, ikaw na yung mag-a-assess, ikaw yung magde-declare sa tax return mo kung ano yung dapat mong bayaran. At ang CPTA, i-assess ka lang niya. Sa atin, anong tawag dyan? Voluntary assessment. Ganun din po yung proseso. Sa atin, voluntary assessment, ikaw din yung voluntaryo na magpi-fill up ng tax returns mo at mag-declare na ito yung dapat mong bayaran. But, of course, dun sa mga guidelines na na-discuss na natin on the guide on the filling up of the BIR forms, lahat ng forms, di ba, nakalagay doon na under the penalties of perjury. Anong ibig sabihin? Ibig sabihin, kahit voluntary assessment, yung ginagawa mo na returns, you are still under the penalty of perjury. Dahil ang ibig sabihin lang, dapat tama correct ang nilalagay mo sa tax returns mo. Halimbawa, income tax, dapat tama yung dinideclare mo na income tax. Marami kang income, kalahati lang yung dinideclare mo under the penalties of perjury ka. No? Especially na yung bad system natin, may audit trail. So, lahat ng purchases mo, lahat ng sales mo, nire-report yan sa BIR through the bad relief system. No? So, yun yung mga discuss na natin, mga discussions natin sa bad. No? Yun yung input-output tax component ng VAT na nire-report kayo. So, bawa may bumili sa inyo, issue nyo na resibo, naka-report yan sa BIR. Efforts to enhance services for taxpayers and to boost efficiency of tax administration. No? So, Japan adapts a self-assessment system for most of its national taxes. No? The taxpayers calculate the income, the tax amount, based on which they file and make a payment. No? Uh, mamaya, discuss ko din sa inyo yung blue return. Ito yung uh, may incentive na binibigay ang gobyerno pagka uh, kompleto yung records mo, nagkikip ka ng books of accounts ng income mo at saka ng mga expenses mo. No? They are also required to keep their books of accounts. No? To this end, the NTA is working to enhance a variety of services for taxpayer while cooperating and coordinating with certified public tax accountant and other private organization. So, ano yung mga initiatives nila? Public relation activities and tax education relating to the significance and functions of taxes and knowledge about the tax law. Why knowledge about the tax law? Kasi sabi ko nga sa inyo, taxation is a law. Batas po siya. So, kailangan talaga na Once you are a taxpayer, alam mo yung batas sa taxation para makumply mo, para hindi ka magulat at na penalty ka na pala. No? So, ganun din po yung ginagawa ng uh, National Tax Agency sa Japan. Pinapaalam kung ano yung batas sa kanyang mga taxpayers. Clarification of legal interpretation and of practices, procedures, and others. No? Uh, centralization of taxpayer contact points. No? May mga call center tayo and efforts to improve taxpayer convenience in tax consultation and filing of returns. So, lahat na lang ng paraan para mapagaan yung pagbabayad ng taxes. No, ito yung 
nakasalalay sa National Tax Agency ng Japan. Okay, so this is our another picture. Saan kami nito? Sa isa rin na district office ng uh, National Tax Agency sa Japan. No? Pinapakita nila sa amin kung ano yung mga serbisyo na binibigay ng tax agency office panang district. Ardi upo ito sa Japan. No? So, providing information, the National Tax Agency provides taxpayers with useful information on tax filing and payments. More specifically focused on the National Tax Agency website. No? So, so, tayo meron din. Ano yung website natin? www.bar.gov.ph Sa kanila, ano? www.nta.go.jp no? So, government. Ang GP Japan. No? The National Tax Agency provides a variety of information on the significance and roles played by taxes and on the tax system. Why the significance and role played by taxes? Kasi napaka-importante po ng taxes. Kasi ito yung sumusuporta sa gobyerno natin. And for your information, nung nag kami doon ng 2009, pinakita nila sa amin yung uh, 2008 nila na collection, kung saan napunta at saka kung magkano. And I was so amazed. Why? Because wala pong utang ang Japan. Sa atin, dami nating utang. 40% ng ating collection sa taxes, pinbabay natin sa ating utang. Pero sila, wala po silang utang. No? Kaya ang per capita nila mataas. At saka yung servisyo nila sa kanilang mga citizens, maganda. Bakit? Kasi lahat ng taxes nila, lahat ng collection nila, bumabalik lang sa bansa nila. Doon nang ginagamit. No? Sa atin, since... Uh, Dahil din sa COVID, nagkautang pa tayo ulit. So, expect na dagdag na naman yon na papasanin natin through our uh, payment of taxes. But, kailangan natin bayaran yon Why? Kasi commitment yun eh. Pag nangutang ka, kailan bayaran mo. So, commitment natin yun. We have to pay. And the information is also provided through the mass media such as TV and newspapers and public relations medium such as pamphlets made available at the tax offices as well as municipal offices and various explanatory meeting. Tingnan mo yung access nila, 332.83 million times no, in 2018. Yun yung kanilang um, parang website nila na ina-access ng mga taxpayers for information purposes. So, ito ulit yung picture namin sa Weno uh, District or RDO po sa Japan. No, dito pinakita nila sa amin yung 1 million na tax payments. No, napakarami pala yun yung, yung 1 million na yen na tax payments. Nandun naka-display sa office nila. And then dito nila pinalabas yung mga anime nila na ginagamit sa uh, pag-educate ng mga bata, elementary at saka high school level. No? Meron pa silang mga games na pag pinalo mo yung parang ano doon, yung pamalo doon, lalabas ko ano yung payment ng taxes. Parang game siya. Pagka tinamaan mo yung answer, point sa'yo. No? Pero ang game na yun, patungkol sa tax. No? So, tax education. The NTA works on developing the environment for and providing support for a solid tax education in school. An education so that the significance and roles of taxation that forms the country's foundation will be correctly understood. No? So, naintindihan talaga. Kasi bata pa, pinapaintindi na sa kanila yung importance ng taxation. Ang tanong pa nga sa amin, o, oh, papayag ka ba na walang tax? Siyempre, sabihin ng bata, hindi siya papayag kasi ito yung world na walang taxation. Ang daming magnanakaw. No? Pinapasok yung bahay, kinukuha yung mga gamit nila. Tapos, may mga criminals, no? Kasi walang police, walang pangsweldo sa police. So, hindi pa payo yung bata na walang tax. So, paglaki niya, bubabayin siya ng tax. No? Yun, yun ang ibig sabihin doon. Specifically, the Council for Promoting Tax Education among related ministries consisting of the National Tax Agency, Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communication, Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, meets to discuss effective support measures. So, joint program po nila yung nag educate ng importance of taxation sa mga kabataan pa lang. No? Starting sa mga bata. Why? Why start sa mga bata? Because that, that mga bata will be your future taxpayers. No? So, dapat bata pa lang sila. Alam na nila. Para habang lumalaki sila, hindi, hindi na sila bitter sa government. Bakit kailan lang magbayad ng tax? No? Hindi hide and seek with the uh, tax authorities. 
na kung kung hindi huhulihin hindi magbayad ng tax no sila very patriotic sila voluntarily talaga nagbabayad sila ng tax also my mga lectures tax enlightenment activities to improve awareness towards tax payments no and then meron pa mga briefings for taxpayers no although ginagawa din po ito sa mga BIR offices natin No, organizing various educational sessions to provide information. Kaya nga sabi ko nga sa inyo, when I was still connected with the BIR, for 17 years, speaker po ako sa BIR, anong ginagawa ko? Lecture ng lecture ng lecture sa taxpayer. Kaya mukha po ako seminar sa BIR. Why? Kasi lahat ng mga seminars, sumasali ako. Kaya nga nakarating ako sa Japan. Kasi parang premyo sa akin ng BIR na Uh, masipag ako mag-train. Kaya sabi na, oh, ito yung price mo. Pumunta ka mag-aral ka sa Japan. No? Okay. So, briefing for taxpayers. Organizing various educational sessions to provide information. Usually, dito sa atin, mayroon tayong mga briefing or uh, seminar for newly registered taxpayers. No? Meron yan palagi sa BIR. Okay. To help taxpayer better understand the tax procedures and tax system revision, the NTA holds a variety of briefings, including various briefings on tax returns. Yun, yung mga tax returns. Alimbawa, pagbago, kagaya sa atin, di ba, nagkaroon tayo ng uh, reform or amend, amendments noong 2018 because of the train law. So, tinrain tayo on the mga bagong returns, no? And then, year-in adjustment briefing. Ano ito mga year-in adjustment? Yung diniscuss ko na rin sa inyo na about the withholding tax system. Although, as we go along, siguro I will alert yung mga dalawang live uh, streaming natin. Ididiscuss ko sa inyo yung withholding tax system, taxation in the Philippines. Marami yan. So, hindi ko yan matapos na dalawang oras. Yung mga interesado talaga, aantukin kayo. Pero, ano nyo lang? Continue nyo lang. Kung, kung hindi kayo, hindi nyo kaya na straight, pwede nyo putol-putulin, no? And then, uh, balikan nyo na lang kung saan nyo uh, in, in, uh, pinutol yung inyong uh, lecture. Why? Kasi tatapusin ko talaga siya, no? I-lecture ko sa inyo. Sabi ko na sa inyo, nung, kahit nung nasa BIR pa ako, talagang masipag ako mag-lecture. <laughs> kayo na lang, in your end, yun din yung mga sinasabi ko sa participants ko, In your end, nasa sa inyo na lang yon kung gusto niyo matuto because ako I give you everything, no? Ako binibigay ko talaga lahat ng mga kaalaman na dapat yung malaman. So nasa sa inyo na yon kung may itatapon kaya kayo o ayaw niyo o hindi niyo tatanggapin, nasa sa inyo na yon. But for those talaga na willing at gustong matuto, marami po kayo talaga matutuhan sa akin. I assure you that. Magtiyaga lang kayo at huwag kayong antukin. <laughs> no? And then, uh, briefing on revision to the tax laws. Briefing for newly established corporations. No? Ano itong mga briefing on your tax laws? Kagaya sa BIR natin, marami tayong mga uh, revenue regulations, revenue memorandum orders, revenue memorandum circulars. Talagang may briefing yan para alam nila at papaano siya uh, implement, no? papaano i-comply. Kaya dapat alam ng mga taxpayers. Advanced inquiries enhance predictability for taxpayers. Alam nyo, sa international taxation na ang mga inaatinan ko, no? for your information, I'm attending the WIPO seminars, the World Intellectual Property Office. Ito yung sa OECD, sa IBFD, and then I am also studying the manual of the United Nations on taxation. Alam nyo, ang demand ng taxpayer is the predictability ng Uh, payment ng taxes, certainty. But our tax uh, planners can never do it. Hindi sila pwedeng mag-process or mag-promise na mayroong tax certainty. Why? Kasi walang predictability eh, no? sa taxpayers. Kaya tingnan mo sa Japan, they are also trying na ma-predict nila yung compliance ng taxpayers. No? In case taxpayers have some doubts regarding the tax treatment of any transaction conducted or to be conducted, tax offices receive advance inquiries. Ito din po yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. No? If you have some questions on taxes, isulat nyo na doon sa comment section ng YouTube channel natin 
para mapag-aralan natin in advance dahil hindi po ako pwedeng magbigay sa inyo ng outright na mga opinion dahil nga sabi natin, ang task natin is batas so dapat mag update tayo kung yung batas ba na yan na alam ko na amenda so dapat na yung mag-research that's why I'm advising you to please uh, write in advance your question on the comment portion ng ating YouTube channel para mapag-aralan natin in advance at makapagbigay tayo na accurate na information po tungkol doon sa mga queries ninyo. Tax offices receive advance inquiries before taxpayers start a trade or file a tax return and provide answers. If requested, a written answer may be provided under certain conditions and disclosed as question and answers on the NTA website. Why didn't it disclose po na question and answer sa NTA website? So that other with the same concerns, same din yung kanilang problemas, same din yung kanilang mga questions, they will also be informed about the queries. No? So, kaya nilalagay po yun ang NTA sa website nila on the form of question and answer. So, tax consultations handled by centralized phone consultation centers. No? Uh, sa Bayer, meron tayong contact center, no? centralized, national office yun. Phone consultation centers at regional taxation bureaus provide centralized handling of general national tax questions and consultations from taxpayers. Phone consultation centers at regional taxation bureaus in Tokyo, Nagoya, and Osaka also provide tax consultation in English. Pag pumupunta kayo po sa Japan, mas marami talaga doon, hindi marunong mag-English. No? Although ngayon, marami ng mga tutorials, kahit sa internet, pero marami talaga na hindi sila marunong ng uh, English. Kaya, kaya itong mga selected offices lang, meron silang phone consultation centers in English. No? E-tax online national tax return filing and tax payment system. Sa atin, di ba, EBIR forms. No? Sa kanila, e-tax. Uh, system. No, it does enables users to perform procedures for filing income tax, corporation tax, consumption tax, gift tax, stamp tax, and record tax returns as well as submitting statutory records and applying for blue return filing. Ano yung blue return filing? Ito po yung may preferential rate or may uh, preferential treatment because meron kang uh, 650,000 na yen na uh, deductions, no? Depende. And ano to? Parang incentive to for those who have keep their records, no? Meron silang record ng expenses, meron silang record ng income, no? So, via the internet without visiting the tax office. So, tax payment can be made via direct payment. The internet pay is a compatible ATMs and others. So, para sa EBIR forms din natin, at di po ba ngayon pwede na tayong, uh, hindi na pupunta ng BIR, hindi na pupunta ng banko, pag nagbahay tayo, pwede ng GCash, no? Paymaya. So, marami na. Because of the, this advent of the new technology, di na kailan na uh, face-to-face, pupunta pa tayo ng BIR para magbayad, no? Meron din tayong facilities na binigay sa atin yung gobyerno para makabayad tayo ng mas mabilis. Use of tax and accounting software compatible with tax, with e tax enable taxpayers and CPTAs to digitally carry out the set of work, including accounts processing and reporting, from data preparation to filing, which will reduce paperwork. No, so ganon din sa atin because of the EBIR, lahat ng mga tax agent, accredited tax agent, dapat do na sa EBIR magpafile na returns. Okay, so paano po itong e-tax system nila, how, how this system work. No? So, from the users, meron tayong uh, prior preparation. No? Obtain digital certificates, obtain IC and readers, writers. So, saan nila to i-obtain? Co-coordinate sila with the Office of the National Tax Agency. No? And then, the taxpayer or the CPTA, ibig sabihin, ito na yung taxpayer or kung hindi siya yung nag-file in behalf of the taxpayer ang certified public tax accountant ang nagpa-file, pwede rin. No? So, pwedeng taxpayer, pwedeng CPT yung magpa-file. Anong gagawin? Digital signature by the taxpayers can be omitted in cases where CPT is file returns online on behalf of the taxpayers. 
No, so may preferential treatment din pag CPTA, hindi na kailangan yung signature ng taxpayer, no? Digital signature ng taxpayer. Improve convenience for users. So itong e-tax, improve convenience for users. Why? Because it can complete the procedure via the internet without visiting the tax office, no? So same with our EBIR. Reduction of paperwork. So wala nang paperwork. Alam niyo sa BIR when I was still uh, chief of the registration ng BIR, inaaway kami ng taxpayer kasi walang form. No? Ang dami-dami forms na binibigay ng National Office sa amin, palaging nauubos. Why? Kasi pag may dumating, ang dami, ang dami ka agad nang hihingi. Tapos mabalita ang dami, andun na ginagamit pang uh, balot ng isda. No? Ang laking ano nun, talagang pinarecall yun, nakarating yun sa National Office na yung mga income tax returns pinambalot ng isda sa palengke. No? So, nagkakagulo because of yung panghingi, pamimigay ng supplies ng uh, returns na printed. No? Ang dami nang hihingi, hindi mo makontrol. So, nung ginawa? Through the internet, wala ng paperwork, wala ng printing, kasi kanya-kanya ng print. No? Hindi na yung BIR magpo-provide ng form. Soft copy na lang yung taxpayer na ang magpiprint. No? So, malaking kabawasan sa budget ng BIR yung uh, software na lang ginagamit. Okay. So, how, how does this uh, e-tax system work? No? So, we have the internet, sending data, tax return, application, and filing to the e-tax system. Sending direct payment information to the system. And then, uh, sino yung nag-utilize ng, da ng data pagka nasend na doon sa uh, itas? The tax office. Why? Kasi nagkakaroon na siya ng data warehouse. No? Nagkakaroon na siya ng information doon sa pinafile na tax returns ng taxpayer. So, enhance the efficiency of tax administration. Reduction of administrative work of receiving tax returns and data input and reduction of document management cost which is nangyayari din po ito sa BIR. Why? Kasi noong wala pang EBIR, ang dami pong encoder ng BIR na lahat ng mga nag-file ng returns sa BIR na manual i-receive, ibabat, tapos i-encode, no? Natapos na lang yung isang taon, nag-file ulit, hindi pa tapos yung encoding. So, anong solusyon? E-filing na. No? So, soft copy na lang yung pumapasok na data. Hindi na kailangan mag-encode ng mga encoder sa uh, BIR. No? Okay. So, this uh, e-tax system send information to the financial institution. No? Uh, bakit? Kasi may payment tayo na uh, tinatawag. So, yung information sa e-tax, nagbibigay siya ng information on the payment na patungo sa mga banko, no? Revenue agencies for Bank of Japan. Ano yung Bank of Japan? Doon pumapasok yung collection ng taxes. Okay, so tax payment via internet banking and tax payments via PEEC compatible ATMs. Lahat yun papunta doon sa banko. Sa atin, national treasury natin. And also, we have what we call as accredited agent banks. Filing for tax return, it is a procedure in which the taxpayers calculates income and tax amount for one year period. Sa atin, ito yung filing natin na katatapos lang income tax return for annual income tax return. No? Daming nagkakagulo. Why? Kasi yung iba naman, malala lang nila yung BIR pag filing na ng annual income tax return. Pag hindi, hindi rin nila naalala. So, kung kayo ay registered, nagkakaroon kayo ng open cases. No? So, be sure na ang BIR maalala natin monthly, hindi lang annually. Diversification of payment methods. So, marami. May cashless payment, no? may online payment, using direct payment, may internet banking. Na-discuss ko na yun sa inyo on the uh, tax payment methods ng taxes. Ito yung efforts toward the social security and tax number system. Ito yung parang sa atin PIN, tax identification number, at saka yung itong darating na July, meron tayong tinatawag na FILSIS 
number no na uh, manggagaling sa Philippine Statistics Authority Philsys number lahat ng Filipino citizen magkakaroon ng Philsys number including yung mga bata no may national ID na tayo na tinatawag okay so sa Japan meron din no and yung individual number is 12 digit and then yung corporation is 13 digits no proper withholding tax system operation no na discuss na natin to sa inyo kanina yung nagwi-withhold sa mga salaries nagwi-withhold sa mga uh, payment na dinidesignate ng withholding agent ng gobyerno para ibawas na doon yung tax hindi na ibibigay doon sa recipient ng income i-remit na sa uh, national tax agency or sa atin sa BAR no actions taken for the amended cons consumption tax act ito yung value added tax nila no? The standard rate is 10% yung BAT nila 7.8% yung national and then the local is 2.2% no? Reduced tax rate 8% Consumption tax rate uh, 6.24 Sino yung mga 8% kanina yung food diba? So 8% yun And that represents 6.24% ng national tax and then local consumption tax of 1.76 Kasi diba, sabi natin may tatlong level yung taxes ng Japan Yung national, prefectural, yung uh, province or district And then the municipal no? So items subject to the reduced tax rate to yung 8% Food and drink, hindi kasama yung alcohol and dining out Alam nyo sa kanila, may pit sila doon sa, sa dining out Yung mga take out, ayaw nila yun No? Kasi pumunta ka raw sa, sa restaurant para kumain. Bakit mo pa iuwi at doon mo kakainin sa bahay mo? No? Ayaw nila yung mga takeouts. Newspapers issued more than twice a week. No? So also preferential rate, reduced rate ng 8%. No? So entry and ledgers, description and invoices, and the storing of these documents. Ito yung keeping of books of accounts or the keeping of records. No? So a business operator... Generating sales or purchasing any items subject to the reduced tax rate issued an invoice, no, and perform accounting such as book entries, separate accounting, adding tax rate based separation to existing system items, no. Purchase tax credit is uh, currently storing ledgers, invoices, and others. The reduced tax rate system is implemented. Business operators will be required to store ledgers invoices and others in accordance with the separate accounting the method of storing invoices with classified descriptions no so marami na tayong mga uh, episode diyan on the recording of business transactions in the books of accounts so, so may ganyan din po sa Japan starting october of 2023 method of storing eligible invoices so called invoice system will be introduced Preservation of invoices such as eligible invoices will become the requirement for purchase tax credit instead of storage of separate statement invoices. So ito na yung bat relief sa atin, no? Uh, yung mga input and output and then the uh, purchase journal and sales journal, doon manggagaling yun pag nag-compute ka ng VAT sa kanila consumption tax. And then the information and public relations about the reduced tax rate system for consumption tax. No? So, meron silang information and public relations na uh, ginagawa dyan para ma-inform or ma-update palagi yung taxpayers. And then they have also the measures for smooth and appropriate shifting of consumption tax. Why? Because di ba sa atin ang value-added tax natin is an indirect tax. And when we say indirect tax, it can be shifted to the buyer. At sa atin talaga, since indirect tax siya, sino ba ang uh, my burden of paying the tax? It's the buyer. Kasi nga, kaya nga siya tinataw na consumption tax. Because the one paying it is the one who will consume the goods or the services. So sa Japan, ganun din. Kaya nga, tinataw siya na consumption tax. Publication of the detailed examples of misrecognition, prevention measures, which are required for the application of exceptions to the obligation to indicate the total price with tax. 
alam nyo matyaga ang hapon in educating their taxpayers napakatyaga sa nila why? kasi para gusto mo daw na organized, compliant yung taxpayers mo, educate them so wala po silang uh, pagod talagang nag educate sila at believe ako sa mga uh, Japanese why? because they are not educating only their o oh, taxpayers, buong mundo talagang may mga scholars sila may mga Tinuturuan sila, mga, mga, nag invite sila ng mga mag-aaral sa Japan para pag-aaralan din yung kanilang system. No? So, hindi lang kanilang mga uh, resident yung kanilang tinuturuan, the resident of the world. No? May, yun yung JICA or yung Japan International Cooperation Agency, yun po yung ginagawa. At dami, ha? Lahat, lahat ng sectors, no? mga engineers, mga accountants, mga professionals, iba-ibang uh, mga uh, klase ng tao o ng mga educated persons, dinadala nila sa Japan nung pinapaaral. No? May mga scholars sila doon. Okay. So, consultation on price indication no? from the obligation to indicate the total price with tax as well as on the shifting of consumption tax at the revised consumption tax system consultation desk. And then the government agency with jurisdiction over the legal industry, the NTA provide legal business operators with the necessary guidance and advice to prevent and correct any acts that violate the provisions of the act on special measures for shifting consumption taxes. So, so very specific ang batas nila, kaya uh, very organized group. If any lake or business operator performs an act that refuses the shifting of consumption taxes or makes an indication that consumption taxes are not shifted, the NTA conducts an on-site inspection promptly. Ano yung on-site? May pinapadala sila doon ng mga tax inspector, no? Para tingnan kaagad yung mga violations. No? Cooperation with private organizations, ginagawa po yan ng National Tax agency sa mga private organizations nila. Proper and fair uh, taxation and collection. No? Promotion of proper and fair taxation. No? Pa paano siya naging fair? Fair ba yung may income ka tapos hindi ka magbabayad ng tax? Yung ibang may income nagbabayad, ikaw hindi. So that is not fair. No? So, paano ba ang proper and fair taxation? Lahat ng nagkaroon ng income, magbabayad ng tax na dapat meron doon sa income niya. No? So the National Tax Agency analyzes information from various angles and for malicious taxpayers who try to illicitly evade the tax burden. No? So pinakita pa sa amin doon paano sila uh, gumagawa ng investigation. Ako, ang tagal at saka talagang uh, exhaustive na investigation ginagawa nila. No, the NTA establishes appropriate examination systems and conduct strict examinations. In addition for other taxpayers, the NTA takes care of its administration processes in an effective and efficient manner by balancing its allocation of limited human resources and other resources. No? Priority matters addressed in the tax examinations. Ano, ano to mga priority matters? at ano itong mga tax examinations, ito yung sa atin, LOA, yung ni-issue ka ng letter of authority, and then magkakandak ng tax examinations yung BIR. So, sa kanila, ganun din. Oh? In-depth examination by utilizing information from the record of remittance and receipt relating to foreign countries and other materials and the exchange of information based on the tax treaty and others with competent foreign authorities. Uh, bakit po ganito? Kasi ang dami po mga Japanese doing business outside Japan. So ano yung dapat gawin if you are a Japanese and you are doing business outside Japan? All your income outside Japan are taxable in Japan. No? Kaya monitor sila. Dito sa Pilipinas, marami tayong mga corporations owned by Japanese. No? So ano yun? While I was still in the BAR, meron ako mga instances na yung government of Japan or the NTA are asking information no, sa BIR para doon sa kanilang mga uh, iniimbestiga din ng mga Japanese corporations. No? And under the exchange of information, batas na po yan, yung isang country, 
hindi pwedeng i-deny yung information na yun. They have to supply the information because that's part of the transparency agreement with uh, between countries, no? And the Philippines is a signatory. Kaya dapat magbibigay siya ng information of the taxpayers. Dibawa, Japanese doing business in the Philippines, magbibigay yung Japanese government, uh, Philippine government ng information sa Japanese government tungkol doon sa income no Japanese doing business here. So, conduct sufficient examination for ensuring proper taxation of consumption tax. No? Sa atin, ano yun, meron tayong tinatawag na batag or value-added tax audit group. No? Sa kanila, proper taxation also of consumption tax, meron din po sila examinations. No? Kasi sa kanila, uh, consumption tax is one of the main taxes for tax revenue. Which is why it attracts the strong attention of the public. No? So proper tax administration is especially necessary. Why? Kasi consumption tax yan eh. At tingnan mo ha, ang lahat ng tao nagko-consume. So ibig sabihin, lahat ng tao nagbabayad ng tax. Kasi the moment you consume, nandyan yan sa kinukonsume mo, may kasamang tax yan. So dapat namomonitor yan at nairimit talaga yan sa gobyerno. There are cases where fraudulent consumption tax refunds were claimed through the filing of false returns. No? So the NTA worked to prevent the filing of fraudulent refunds by instituting sufficient examination of the facts. So sa atin, meron din tayong bat refunds. No? Kasi binabalik natin yung mga uh, selective industries na zero-rated, wala silang output pero may input, binabalik natin sa kanila yung tax na binabayad nila doon sa purchases nila through refunds. Also, the National Tax Agency is working closely with the customs authorities. No? Just like in the Philippines, uh, BAR and customs are working together under sila pareho ng Department of Finance kasi delegated sa Bureau of Customs ang pagkolekta ng VAT doon sa mga importations natin or imported goods. No? Sila ang nangongolekta. Although the taxes belongs to the BAR. So, identify taxpayers failing to file by utilizing information. Accurate understanding of claims made by taxpayers and proper tax administration. Kasama yan po sa examination na uh, ginagawa ng uh, mga tax officers ng NTA or ng National Tax Agency. Utilizing approaches other than field examination. Paano yun? Hindi lang field examination yung approaches nila. Promote various contact methods in addition to field examination. Data and information. So, collect data and information through every opportunity to use such information for accurate guidance as well as tax examinations. Sa atin, ano yung data and information gathering natin? Yung VAT relief, no? Sa consumption tax natin or sa VAT. O ano yung VAT relief natin? Lahat ng sales mo, lahat ng input mo, gawan mo siya ng summary list of sales and purchases, and then if, if forward mo, isubmit mo through the soft copy. So, yun po yung ginagawa din ng Japanese government, the data and information, no? Ginagamit din nila sa examination, no? This is the uh, canteen of the JICA Training Center, no? Sa Japan. So, dyan kami pagka, uh, halimbawa, uh, break, lunch break or coffee break. So, dyan kami waiting for the next session, no? all provided no bibili ka doon using the chip no chip yun ang pagpalit mo ng pera tapos bibili mo ng chip doon sa no pagpalit mo doon sa pagkain na bibilhin mo no hindi cash criminal investigation also ginagawa po ng mga uh, uh, national tax agencies ng tax inspectors or tax examiners sa mga uh, tax evaders no Parang dito rin sa atin sa Pilipinas. At saka doon, yung sa criminal investigation nila, pinapanood nila sa amin yung uh, movie on the taxing woman. Ano yun? Mga two hours? Two, more than two hours na movie kung paano yung taxing woman nila uh, gumagawa ng investigation sa mga taxpayers. Retained funds which obtained from tax evasion. Um, so may mga funds sila from the tax evasion cases. Reliable tax payment establishes voluntary tax payment. 
uh, and they also adopt measures to prevent delinquencies and then uh, they promote reduction of delinquent taxes no so ginagawa nila yon para kasi pag halimbawa marami kang delinquent taxes marami kang collectibles pero hindi naman nagbabayad no nandun lang uh, hindi siya nakokolekta hindi siya nagagamit ng gobyerno so they have to promote reduction of these delinquent taxes sa atin anong ginagawa ng BAR in order to reduce delinquent taxes di po ba kasalukuyan ngayon meron tayong tinatawag na tax amnesty on delinquency para yung mga delinquent na yun hindi talaga makolekta magbabayad sila in a reduced amount para mawala yung delinquency ng BAR no? And then, uh, public auction by the internet? No? P pwede. Kasi yung, yung website, ginagamit nila to sell properties na nasisis. Ano yung sis? Parang sa atin din, na pag hindi nakabayad ng tax, at may properties yung taxpayer, isisis yun. Ibig sabihin, it's a tax yun, lagyan siya ng uh, attachment, at pag hindi talaga nagbayad, pwede ng uh, at some uh, uh, period, pwede na i-auction sale, ibibenta na yung property para pambayad ng tax. No? So, public auction by internet. Yun ang ginagawa din sa Japan. Accurate and efficient management of claims and liabilities. No? So, maingat din po sila dyan. And then, meron sila mga uh, efficient processing operations. No? Meron silang tinatawag na optical character recognition or OCR processing for tax payment slips at the Bank of Japan. No? Income tax and sole proprietors, consumption tax payments by transfer account, no? online tax payments. So, maingat sila kasi di ba, dami nilang mga mode of payment. So, maingat, maingat sila doon sa mga data na pumapasok. Consumption tax payment by transfer account, online tax payment and direct payment. No? So, the NTA centralized transfer processing then adapted online transfer procedures. In this ways, the NTA is pursuing efficient and speedy payment processing. No? Addressing international transactions. Sa kanila po, ang dami nila mga wilvers na on transfer pricing. Why? Because transfer pricing is now a very important topic in international taxation. At marami na silang ginagawa na mga very specific measures or laws, guidelines, regulations on transfer pricing. No? So, in, in this international transactions, public interest increase on international tax avoidance cases. No? So, why international avoidance cases? Kasi nandun sila sa abroad, doon nag nagbe-business. So, are you sure, how can you be sure that those income from businesses abroad, the proper taxes are paid also in Japan? No? So, the NTA considers achieving proper and fair taxation in view of both global and domestic trends it will lead to securing trust from every taxpayer. Ang Japan po meron siyang, kung sa atin meron tayong domestic trade and industry, ang Japan merong international trade and industry na office. No? No, so this is our picture when we visit the Tokyo Tower. No? Enhancement of information resources, uh, reinforcement of information collection and utilization. So, ito yung data warehousing nila. No? Detect precisely cross-border transaction and assets held overseas. Parang, ano nang tawag dito? Kasi international na to eh. So, uh, nag-gather pa rin sila ng mga information abroad. No? Yeah, the, records, the records of remittances and receipts related to foreign countries. So, mag maganda yung kanilang database. Foreign asset statements and statement of assets and liabilities. That's why Japanese firms, Japanese corporations are very much concerned about documentation. No? So, in, in the Philippines, yung mga unang nag-apply ng advanced pricing arrangements sa transfer pricing are Japanese firms. Exchange of information under the tax treaties. Automatic exchange of financial account information of non-resident based to the Common Reporting Standards, or CRS. Establishment of reporting system of information on multinational enterprises. I discuss ko to sa inyo in detail on the multinational enterprises taxation sa mga transfer pricing na uh, topics natin or episode, no?
Imagine, unlimited yung mga ibibigay namin na episode sa inyo. Kompleto at uh, maraming mga information, not only the local taxation, but also international taxation. No? Ito yung information concerning business activities of its countries conducted by MNA groups. Ito yung country by country report and then the master file and the local file. Ito yung embodied in the OECD transfer pricing guidelines and also on the United Nations transfer pricing guidelines na 2017. Okay, didiscuss ko to sa inyo fully or in detail doon sa mga transfer pricing episode natin. Enhancement of human resources for examination. Of course, why? Because sino ba yung gagawa ng mga examination? It's the human resources. Tao, tao ang gagawa. So, anong ginagawa ng Japan? Tinatrain niya yung mga tao nila. So, ini-enhance ang human resources. Reinforcement of global network, cooperation with competent foreign authorities, and also participation in the global framework. Ang alam ko, ang current na president ng OECD, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, is Japanese. And Jap the Japan government is a major donor in the OECD. Ano po ang OECD? Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, ito po yung gumagawa ng tax planning natin, no? Sa atin, sa atin yung nandoon yung organization of countries na sila yung mga gumagawa na may meeting on our tax policy matters, no? So, very very uh, active po itong OECD pagdating na po sa taxation. So, nasa kanila yung uh, OECD Model Tax Convention na sinusundan po or sinusunod ng mga uh, gumagawa ng tax treaties ng mga bansa. No? So, aside from the guidance ng United Nations, ito po OECD ay malaking bahagi po to sa paggagawa ng mga tax policies of the world. Center for Tax Administration no? of the World. Yan po yung ginagawa ng OECD. Utilization of Mutual Tax Collection Assistance System. No? So, ginagawa po yan ng Japanese. Tumutulong din sila no? sa ibang uh, mga bansa. No? Hindi lang sa kanila. Promotion of the Mutual Agreement Procedure. Ano po itong Mutual Agreement Procedure? Ito yung parang amicable settlement or po uh, parang uh, voluntary arbitration pagdating na po sa halimbawa may mga dispute na about taxation so meron tinatawag na mutual agreement procedure na yung dalawang bansa na may dispute mag-uusap po sa plan sila in order to have a resolution on the disputes no? so actions against the affluent class and corporations that conduct cross-border transactions na pakalaking trabaho po ang cross-border taxation no? sad to say dito sa Pilipinas wala pa po masyado Although nag-umpisa na yung, yung transfer pricing division natin that caters with the multinational transactions natin. No? Sa, pero sa ibang bansa, meron na silang uh, uh, divisions, meron na silang mga specific laws that really governs international uh, transactions for tax purposes. No? Providing an environment for proper and smooth operation of transfer pricing taxation. No? Ako po yung author ng basic transfer pricing po dito sa Pilipinas. And I find it very, very helpful kasi since 2008 ko pa pinag-aralan ang transfer pricing because of my intention to practice international taxation. So, I will discuss that on our uh, episode of transfer pricing. Cooperation with foreign tax authorities. No? The, yun yung sabi ko sa inyo na the transparency on the exchange of information. So, you have to cooperate with other tax authorities, especially in the gathering of information, and also in supplying uh, information pag kayo, sila naman yung nanghingi. No? Participation in international tax conferences, sabi ko nga sa inyo, sila yung mga donors na yan, oh, nakalagay dito. In order to cooperate and share experience with foreign tax authorities, the NTA actively participates in international conferences including the OECD Forum on Tax Administration and the Study Group on Asian Tax Administration and Research. Ito yung isgatar po na tinatawag. So, very active po ang Japan dyan. 
O is it a forum on tax administration? Is a forum for commissioners from 36 OECD and 79 OECD jurisdictions to share its authority, knowledge, and experience on a wide range of fields in tax administration. So in March 2019, the 12th plenary meeting was held in Santiago, Chile, with discussions about measures to improve tax compliance. So sabi ko nga sa inyo po, ito yung OECD is a non-stock, non-profit uh, organization that caters with the uh, tax policies of the world. Huh? Ito namang study group on Asian tax administration and research is Qatar comprised of tax authorities of 17 countries kasama po yung Pilipinas niyan and regions in Asia Pacific comprised of tax uh, this is a forum for discussion on cooperation and sharing of knowledge in the region. No? So in November 2018 the 48th meeting was held in Hangzhou China with discussion about improvement of tax payment environment and measure of enhancing tax officials ability. Ano, ano tong enhancing tax officials ability? Ito yung training ng mga tax examiners para uh, mas mapabuti pa nila yung uh, tax compliance at saka tax investigation. Remedy for taxpayer rights, the request for review system for national tax Ito yung rights ng taxpayer. Siyempre, tinatax mo yung taxpayer. Dapat bigay mo rin sa kanila yung rights nila. No? Ano yun? Simplified, prompt, and fair remedies for taxpayers' rights. To. Well protected po yung rights ng taxpayer. Request for reconsideration. Remedy for taxpayer rights by a fair third-party uh, institution. No? Uh, ano, ano, ano yun? Request for review to the Director General of the National Tax Tribunal made by taxpayer who are dissatisfied with the decision made by the District Officer of the Tax Office. Huh? So, ito yung uh, correction, determination, or seizure in pursuit of cancellation or changes in this position. Iyon yung mga ginagawa din ng uh, Court of Tax Appeal natin. Litigation, remedy by law. Ano yun? Siyempre, pag pumasok ka naman sa litigation, may hearing yan para ma-determine talaga kung uh, protected ba o tama ba o may rights ba talaga yung uh, nagre-reklamo at saka yung inire-reklamo. Trend in remedies for taxpayer rights. Uh, the NTA is working to finish processing request for re-examination within three months and request for reconsideration with one year in principle. Ano, ano po ba yung difference ng re-examination and reconsideration? No? Sa atin, may tinatawag tayo na request for reinvestigation and request for reconsideration. Pag sinabi mo reconsideration, pinapareconsider mo lang yung uh, result na investigation. Wala kang ibibigay na dokumento. Parang kinag-question mo lang doon yung treatment or yung, yung uh, policy or paano tinrit yung disallowance. Pagdating naman sa re-examination or re-investigation, magsasubmit ka uli ng dokumento. Why? Kasi may dinidispute ka doon na hindi to tama. So, ano gagawin mo? You have to show proof na hindi talaga tama. No? So, yun, yun ang request for re-examination. Liquor administration, halos wala tayo dito, although Yun, yun yung counterpart natin ng excise taxes, no? Ang liquor administration. Meron talaga yung special na mga tao, mga inspector na linalagay sa mga planta, sa mga factories para bantayan yung withdrawals ng mga goods subject to excise tax. So, sa kanila ang tawag dyan, liquor administration. Sa atin, excise tax. No? Paano ginagawa yan ng Japan? Taking various measures for the development of liquor business successfully. No? Bakit nila talagang tinututukan yung liquor business? Kasi sabi ko nga sa, sa inyo, malaking industry siya sa Japan, no? yung liquor business. So, situation of liquor industry in Japan. No? Taxable volume of liquor, domestic shipment volume, has declined since it peaked at 10... 1,170,000 kilos in 1999. No? The taxable volume of its kind of legal products has considerably changed recently. 
no, taxable volume of beer in particular declined considerably. A reason for this trend seems to be the shift of consumption from beer to low price liquor such as too high and beer like products, the so called new gender drinks. On the other hand, craft beer has become popular in recent years. So, situation of the export of liquor ma made in Japan. No? So, liquor made in Japan has gained global recognition through winning international competitions and others. Also, the global food market is expected to continue growing in the future. Of course, why? Sa dami ng um, nagkukonsumo, sa dami ng kumakain. No? So, yung food industry talaga natin. Kaya yung mga sa atin, no, that this is an eye-opener. Yung mga lupa natin, yung mga those uh, engaged in agriculture. No? So, further processing lang po ng product. Hindi yung tanim lang, tanim lang tayo, tapos ibenta natin na pipiris, na, na sisira. Pero kung halimbawa, ikaw ay uh, farmer, agricultural uh, producer ka. Try to think about processing your product. Limbawa, ang gulay yan. I-process mo pa, ikan mo, gawin mong juice, gawin mong vinegar, gawin mo pang, ano, may, may further processing ka. Mas makakapagkuman ka ng price. No? Kasi yung sa atin kasi, wala na. Wala na. Pag tinanim mo lang, ibenta mo. Pag walang bumili, kawawa ka. Pero kung meron kang processing, meron kang warehousing, meron kang i-refrigerate mo para hindi masira. In short, yung agriculture natin, dapat lagyan mo ng technology para mas kikita ka. Ganun po ang ginagawa ng mga hapon. No? Diyan sila magaling. Applying technology to whatever they are doing. So, if you apply technology in business, lalo kang mapapaganda yung business mo. No? Even China. Technology din yung linalagay ng China because they are creators. Ang China, talagang inventors na sila. Hindi pa, ano, very early pa ang mundo noon. Bata pa ang mundo. Inventors na yung mga Chinese. No? Ang dami na nilang product na na-produce. So, pag, ito lang masasabi ko sa mga agricultural producer natin. Lagyan nyo po ng technology ang napoproduce ninyo na product in order that you can command a higher price. No? Kasi dati, kawawat palagi ang farmers. Pagka oras na ng production ng rice, napakamura na ng rice. No? Ng palay. Pero ang bigas, mahal pa rin. No? So, anong gagawin mo? Mag-process ka. Bawa, may dryer ka. Tapos, uh, later on, ikaw na magbebenta ng rice mo. So, makakakuman ka ng higher price. So, so, wag tayong kalmante na doon lang tayo palagi sa production. Kasi, lumaki ako sa farm eh. So, alam mo, kawawa, pagdating na ng harvest, lahat ng palay, kahit pagkain mo, wala nang maiwan, pabayad lang sa utang, minsan kulang pa. No? So, if we apply technology, hindi, hindi tayo ganun kahirap ang mga farmers natin. The effort of the National Tax Agency, the promotion of liquor business. No, so, so even the National Tax Agency are also promoting liquor. Katuwa nga ako eh, dahil during the COVID, yung mga magbibigay ng incentive dun sa mga industries, sa mga businesses, kinarstore nila sa BIR. So, ibig sabihin, sa friendly approach na, oh, ito yung mga nagbabayad, na, na hindi nilingkwen sa kanilang taxes, ito naman yung binibigyan din ng Uh, incentive para mabigyan ng tulong yung mga employees. No? Cultivation of overseas demand. No? So, alam nyo, pinag-aaralan na nila kung ano yung mga may demand na products and services. At, pinuproduce nila yun. Halimbawa, sa isang bansa, may mal malaman sila na itong product na ito maganda. Pinuproduce din nila yan. No? And then, sinusupply din nila kung sino yung mga may kailangan. Dati pati okra, nag import pa yung Japan sa atin. Eh ngayon, sa yung start, nag-start sila, nag-produce sila ng maraming okra sa Okinawa. Ngayon, hindi na sila nag import sa atin. Why? Kasi sila na lang mismo ang nag-puproduce. No? 
So global distribution of information, support in business matching to help sellers to find buyers. <laughs> Imagine, trabaho pa yan ng NTA, National Tax Agency. No? Support in business matching to help sellers to find buyers. No? Promotion of sale brewery tourism. Uh, may mga visitors na ini-entertain para pumunta sa mga brewery kung paano pinaprocess yung mga lekor, no? Ba bakit kailangan? Para ma-educate sila, ah, ito pala, ganito pala ginagawa yung mga lekors. Increasing publicity of government-wide efforts. Itong Jetro, pinasok ko na ito yung Jetro, ito yung uh, mga data about the economics ng Japan, no? Jefudo, and the promotion of their utilization. No? nag invite to sila ng mga members. The NTA provides business operators and industrial associations with information on government-wide effort, such as set of support measures by JETRO, the New Export Nation Consortium, the Global Far Farmers, Fishermen, Foresters, Food Manufacturers Projects, and the Japan Food Product Overseas Promotion Center. Imagine that. No? and promotes the utilization of the above efforts. So, ang ganda ng initiative ng gobyerno para uh, mapaganda din yung production ng uh, goods and services at uh, mapaganda din yung distribution so that yung mga farmers hindi naman kawawa. No? Kasi sa atin dito, kawawa yung farmers natin. No? I know that kasi lumaki ako talaga sa farm. No? Kawawa. International negotiations for elimination of customs duties and import restrictions. Uh, mayroon na tayong world trade. Eh. Mayroon na tayong mga batas on that. No? So, the government seeking elimination of customs duties and import restrictions, protection of geographical indications, international negotiations on EPA and others regarding the export of liquor made in Japan to the European region. No? Kasi magaganda yung mga lekor ng Europe eh. So, papasok ka doon. Dapat maganda din yung product mo. Huh? So, Japan and the uh, European communities entered into force on February 2099. Huh? Uh, immediate elimination of customs duties on all kinds of lekor. Relaxation of import restrictions on Japan wine. Relaxation of restriction on the container and capacity constraint on single system distillation Japanese spirit and protection of geographical indications GI4 or inside the EU. Ano ano yung protection ng geographical indication? Ano tong geographical indications? Ito yung di po ba may product tayo nakabote yung lekor. Ano yung geographical indication? Yung salita na made in Japan. Yan ang geographical indication. Oh, kasi mamaya, maganda yung isang product. No? Oh, may, may nangyari na yan dito sa Pilipinas eh. Nasa umikat yung product niya. Tinamper yung geographical indication. No? Hindi naman made sa abroad. Nilagyan na made sa abroad. So, it command a higher price and then maraming bumili. But in truth, Hindi naman totoo. So, yun ang gustong protection na ng Japan. No? The geographical indications. Mamaya, yung nakalagay na made in Japan, hindi naman pala talaga made in Japan. No? So, dapat na po protection. Promotion of establishment of brands. Ito din po yung uh, pinoprotection na ng WIPO or the World Intellectual Property Office based in Switzerland. No? I was, uh, I am a consistent uh, invitee of this uh, WIPO. So, lahat ng mga ginagawa nilang projects, by email, ni-invite ako, at saka I also give uh, opinions, I also give uh, some recommendations on the policies of WIPO. Uh, Noong 2016, I was able to attend to their intellectual uh, world international conference ng WIPO, in Shanghai, China, and I was, I was able to give also my recommendations. And ano yung recommendations ko during that time? Yung protection ng beneficial owner and also the legal owners, which I'm very, very happy because 
ina-address na po ng international community ngayon. They are so aware of the beneficial owner and the legal owner. Na dati, kawawa lang yung legal owner, ang beneficial owner lang nakikinabang. Huh? So, wine labeling rules, no? So, ano yung wine labeling rules that sets definition and others of the Japan wine or the standard for wine production process and quality indication? Ano yung mga quality indication? Siyempre, nandyan yan sa bote mo, no? Yung mga spirit, yung, yung kind ng product na nilalagay mo dyan sa bote, no? The rule came into effect in October 2018. The labeling rule divides wines distributed in Japan into wine made in Japan and imported wines. And among wines made in Japan, wines made exclusively from domestic grapes are labeled Japan wine. No? So lahat ng product na yata din, ang Japan nagpo-produce din. No? Pati yung mga olive oil dati, mga olive uh, yung tree, makita mo talagang nagtatanim na rin sila so lahat ng uh, pwede or mga magagandang produkto na pinuproduce ng world ina-adapt nila at nagtatanim din sila nagpo-produce din sila so, ganun sila katsaga technological assistance promotion of the spread of growing technology support in the quality and safety of lecor and the effort by National Research Institute of Brewing saan lahat nanggagaling ang budget yan? Sa National Tax Agency di ba? Nakita natin kanina na that is one of the goal or objective ng National Tax Agency itong industry na to no? measures for small and medium enterprises no? so pati yung small and medium enterprises nila they are also protecting promotion of Okinawa no? The based on Ryukyu Awamori Overseas Export Project, the NTA makes efforts to promote lecor made in Okinawa in coordination with related government offices, including the cabinet office. So, yung Okinawa yun na yung pinakadulo ng dulo na parang buntot na yun ng Japan eh, no? Pero sila wala sila na iiwan, no? Talagang they see to it na yung Okinawa is also kumikita din saka in terms of economic conditions na tutulungan din establishment of a fair trading environment of lecor no? so ginagawa din niya ng NTA response to social demands no? pero po pati yung social demands measures against health problems caused by alcohol no? so pag lasing ko ka may maadi ka sa drinks no? so may response sila dyan yung problems caused by alcohol Promotion of resource recycling. Ano yung mga rinirecycle na resource sa Lekor? From the perspective of building a recycling-based society through activities such as recycling Lekor containers. Pag magaganda yung mga bote ng container, rinirecycle, no? And reducing food waste. As a member of the food industry, the NTA carries out PR and enlightenment activities through associations and others in the lecor industry to ensure that efforts including the one to recycle lecor containers are further promoted. No? So, dapat dito sa atin, ginagawa din yan. Ano yung number one dapat na i- ano natin, i-promote yung proper use. Yung rice, no? Dapat kung sino yung makakabili ng maraming bigas, huwag naman sayangin kasi yung iba awawa, hindi na makabili ng bigas, minsan lang kumakain sa araw, minsan wala pa. So, yung namang maraming bigas, huwag naman din sayangin. No? Na sayang na sayang na sisira lang, tinatapon lang. No? So, binabantayan ko yung taga-sayang ko eh. Na walang masisira, walang matatapon na kanin kasi sayang po. It's, it's so hard yung pag-produce nung isang botel na bigas na yan para sayangin mo. No? Nung maliliit pa kami, sinasabi ng lola namin na kailangan walang matatapon pag kumakain ka, walang matatapon na kanin kasi magtatampo sa iyo yung kanin lilipad sa bintana, wala ka na makain. No? So, alam mo, nakakamiss din yung mga uh, salita, no? mga olds na kahit sabihin mo na parang pamahayin 
Pero pag sinunod mo is also very helpful. So, ensuring proper administration of services by certified public tax accountants. Ito po yung partner ng National Tax Agency in helping and giving services to the taxpayers. Kaya partner po talaga sila, no? Uh, mission of the Certified Public Tax Accountants. Professional Specialist on Taxes. Sino pala itong mga Certified Public Tax Accountants? Professional Specialist on Taxes. Their public mission is to respond to the trust of a person with a tax obligation in line with the principles of self-assessment system and achieve proper tax compliance as provided for in the tax laws and regulations based on their independent and fair standpoint. So, napaka-respected po ng certified public tax accountant sa Japan. No? As of the end of March 2019, 78,028 persons are registered as CPTAs and 3,963 CPTAs corporations are established. So, ganyan po karami yung uh, persons registered as CPTAs in Japan. Services and roles of CPTAs, no? So, ano yung mga ginagawa ng Certified Public Tax Accountant? Tax proxy, uh, preparation of tax documents, tax consultation service, uh, operations must not be performed by persons other than CPTAs, yung tax consultation service, even at no charge, no? Hindi naman lahat ng uh, services na ginagawa ng CPTA may bayad, no? Sometimes no charge. At the same time, CPTA is required to fulfill various obligations and responsibilities. They are prohibited from providing tax evasion consultation. So, bawal na bawal na yung CPTA ang mag-advise pa sa taxpayer about tax evasion. No? Engaging in conduct which harms the credibility or dignity of CPTA. So, so bawal na yung certified public tax accountant magbibigay ng advices sa taxpayer para hindi magbayad ng tax no? or para hindi mag-comply. Coordination and cooperation with certified public tax accountants association. No? So, conduct consultation and exchange opinions about a wide range of issues. Ano to mga wide range of issues? Napakarami niyan. So, saan ba yan mag -umpisa? From the registration, Papunta sa tax payment, papunta sa tax investigations, papunta sa tax audit, sa taxpayers' rights. Andun po yun, napakalawak. Kaya nga, sabi ko sa sarili ko, hindi rin pala ako nagkamali na pinili ko tong field na to, the field of taxation. Why? Kasi napaka-broad po na klase ng services. Napakaraming services na pwede mong ibigay. Okay. So, to achieve the proper and smooth administration of the self-assessment system, CPTA is undertakes the public mission, play extremely important roles. No? NTA are endeavoring to coordinate and cooperate with the Certified Public Tax Accountants Association and Japan Federation of Certified Public Tax Accountants Associations by conducting consultation and exchanging opinion with CPTA's associations about a wide range of issues. Bakit sila yung kapartner ng National Tax Agency when it comes to the discussion on the tax issues? Why? Kasi sila yung uh, naka-expose sa kanila mga kliyente. So, when it comes to the knowledge on the tax issues, sila yung nakakaalam. Kasi mga first-hand information, yung alam ng uh, certified public tax accountant coming mismo from the source, from the clients. So, mas nakaka-discuss sila about tax issues. Promotion of the document attached by CPTs or others. No? So, the attached document regarding the calculation and consultation. The documents attached by CPT is to tax returns as provided for in the Certified Public Tax Accountant Act contributes to achieving proper tax compliance by clarifying the specific roles played by CPT is in preparing tax returns. The system was established for reporting the smooth operation of tax administration with NTA's respect for such ro roles played by CPTAs. Promotion of e-tax usage. No? Collaboration and cooperation towards realization of electronic tax return filing. So, kahit sa Japan po, pinopromote nila yung e-tax filing. Ano yun? Yung filing through the internet. 
yung filing through the electronic system. No? So, bakit? Kasi mabilis na, yung gaya na sinabi ko sa inyo, dito sa Pilipinas, hindi ka na mag encode Tapos yung information na ibibigay mo through online, diretso na po sa database. So, wala na. Wala ng intervention na manual intervention para i-encode pa ulit yung information. Okay. Appropriate guidance and supervisions of CPTAs. Sinong mag-guide? At saka sino magsusupervise sa CPTAs in case na meron silang mga violations, no? So, in order to ensure proper operation, the CPTA system, the NTA utilizes every opportunity to alert people and prevent violation of the CPTA, no? NTA conducts appropriate examination of CPTA. So, pati CPTA is nila ini-examine din ng NTA. Take strict action against CPTAs and others who violate the Certified Public Tax Accountant Act and the so-called fake CPTAs. So, mayroon din palang mga fake na Certified Public Tax Accountant sa Japan. Yung nagpapanggap na Certified Public Tax Accountant, pero hindi naman. Who no? conduct CPTA services without licenses? No? By applying disciplinary actions and filing accusations seeking prosecution. Siyempre, i-prosecute mo kasi uh, high level na services yun tapos i-fake. No? The NTA discloses the names of disciplined CPTAs in the official gazette and via the NTA website. Uh, ito naman pong statistics, ito yung mga uh, tax revenues and budgets natin, ipopost naman lang po namin ito sa episode na to. No, tingnan nyo na lang yung mga tax revenues and budgets nila. Uh, kung gusto nyo pa sila na tingnan no, for the fiscal year 2017. So, we have tax revenues and budget and uh, uh, tax revenues and budgets of the National Tax Agency. Uh, the tax returns and taxation kung ano yung mga uh, number of tax returns na nagpa-file sa kanila. On the income, inheritance, Inheritance ito yung counterpart ng estate tax natin. Gift tax ito po yung donors tax sa atin. No? And then withholding agents and withholding income tax. O ito ito yung din po yung statistics nila on the withholding of taxes. And then we have the number of corporations and corporation tax, no? So the lecor tax and the lecor production. And then the cons consumption tax, ito yung value-added tax natin. Yung leather tax, yun yung uh, excise tax natin sa atin. And then the tax examination, ito po yung effort na ginawa yung National Tax Agency para uh, magkaroon ng investigations among the taxpayers. No? And then the international taxation, no? nandiyan ang transfer pricing taxation. No? Saka ko nandiyan i-discuss sa inyo on the other episode. At saka mahaba yan, putol-putolin natin. And then the fraudulent income tax through overseas transactions. Ano yung mga fraudulent income tax through overseas transactions? Ito yung mga Japanese corporations, Japanese persons doing business outside Japan. No? Which is ang sabi ko sa inyo, once na resident sila, permanent resident sila ng Japan, they are taxable on income uh, abroad and also in Japan. And then the delinquency. Ito po yung effort ng National Tax Agency when it comes to the collection of taxes. So, criminal investigation, filed accusations to the prosecutor by tax category. Ito po yung mga tax fraud. Uh, kagaya din ng effort na ginagawa ng BAR on the uplan kandado and also the rate or the run after tax evaders. At itong remedy for taxpayers' rights request for reconsideration, explain ko na sa inyo and the request for re-examination sa atin, request for uh, reconsideration and request for re-investigation. And then, we have tax consultations. Ito yung data ng tax consultations, ng number of consultations at phone consultation, frequently subject of the consultation kung ano yung mga topic. Uh, so, lahat yan naka-data uh, sa no? So, tingnan na lang din ninyo. At saka, papiyaw, yung title ng movie na Taxing Woman, 
meron yan makikita na ninyo sa internet no how they do their investigation magandang movie yan it is a uh, winner internationally ng movie on the uh, taxing man paano kinakandak yung investigation sa Japan okay so shout out tayo sa ating mga YouTubers sa mga subscribers natin maraming maraming salamat po thank you and good evening <laughs>